karate thing for the boys. I look crazy AF or whatever, but I don't have it on makeup. And this is the only thing that I have to do today, literally, besides go get dressed. So I'm gonna go in and see how they do with this and see if they like it to see if I wanna like put them in karate. Uh, it's another place I wanna try as well. So yeah, I'll try to do later date. Sit down right there. Yeah, sit down right there. Yeah, sit down right there. This is really how professional this is. So we're supposed to have fives, but most places have to check in for four fives, so yeah. And as y'all see, no one else is at this. I don't want to help you Julia and Jackson Thompson supposed to be here to try out at five. Three and four year old? Yes. Yes, ma'am. To save the time, you can put in here both of their names and just put their birthday on top and then the rest of their information. Okay. Yes. Juju, come over here. His name is Juju. Juju. Julian. Julian. Oh, we call him Juju. His name is Jackson and we call him Jack Jack. Jackson? Yes. Okay. Jackson and Juju? Yes. Okay. How old are you? Four and three. Four and three?
Good turn. Kick it. Good. One more time. Ready, go. Five. Let me see. No, no. Good. This is a good turn. Good job. Good job. Oh, do it again. Good job. Nice. Ready? Oh, now you. Now you. One. Good. One more time. Ready? Mom, show you first. Mom, watch. No, no. Sit down. Sit down. Look. You're going to jump over and kick. And then you go back again on the red. Okay? Ready? Jackson, Juju's turn first. Go, Juju. No, you're going to jump. No, do it again. Go back. Wait, wait. Go back. Wait. Jump. Wait. You're going to jump over. Look. Go, jump over. Ready? Keep it low. Stand up. Good job, you did. No, kick. No hit. part of this video to you guys um because i really didn't get to do it and i didn't feel like editing it like in every spot so i'm gonna wait till the end of the video and i'm gonna try to hurry up and explain that to y'all y'all black which most of the people that watch my show or watch my channel or y'all are black uh women actually y'all know i just took down my hair and right now i'm in the in-between process this is like a real organic moment right here this is a real day in the life this is real mom life uh we took it down last night. It is like 11 today, so I gotta do something to it. I haven't done nothing to my hair yet, but. Into who? Oh uh, yeah, if you don't wanna watch this part, then don't watch this part of the video. Cause I'm not done up and fake. Uh, Cause I don't do, I don't wear makeup every day and I don't have my hair on every day unless I have like braids, so yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? So in the beginning, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all the part where y'all heard me when I was like, they're, they're just professional or whatever. And y'all heard like, as soon as I said that, somebody came out. When we walked inside the place, for one, a motherfucker was on the phone. Didn't greet nobody or nothing. Like, she looked at us and she was like, well, let me go in my office or whatever. Which I could tell by her voice because she has an accent. That's the person I called to even schedule the 5 o'clock appointment. And when I sat here and said that I was early, I was like, <clears throat> my bad, y'all. I was like five minutes early. Like, I was five minutes early with walking into there and stuff like that. Because, like, as y'all seen, I did paperwork. Uh, I thought it would be more paperwork than that to do, but I just had to sign, I guess, a release form um, and this, that, and the third, which is cool, whatever. So, as soon as I walk in, she gets, uh, she's on the phone, and she's like, well, let me go in my office and talk to you. And it's like, okay. So, I showed y'all how it was, like, in between or whatever. There's no receptionist up there. There's no one up there to help you. There's none of that stuff. Um, and when I called... Yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm so disappointed with how this went. When I called, you know, online, this was All Star 
martial arts or whatever. I believe it's called arts or martial arts. Uh, and if I got the name wrong, I'll put it down here on the screen, but I believe it's all Star Martial Arts. I'm not gonna say the location it was in, just know that it was somewhere in the Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, so yeah. So, when I called or whatever, because I seen online, I seen that they take ages from three on up. Y'all know Jackson just turned three here in December or whatever. Um, they take three and up. So I'm like, okay, cool. And also, what I seen was you could try it out. Like, you could do a free class to see how the kids do, how the kids like it or whatever. So, I called because I was like, hey, before I sign them up for this, I don't want to sign them up, get a free uniform and all this stuff, and they don't like it. Like, it's not the fact that I can't afford it. It's just the fact that I want to make sure that they like it and make sure that they're doing something with the program or whatever. Or they can follow the program or will follow the program or how it went or whatever. Um... I don't want to see where they're going to. Oh my god! I would have wanted to see what they're going to work with them. Was the boys gonna like it? Mainly is what I was more so concerned about. Was the boys gonna like it? And could they do what they expected them to do? Is what I was trying to see. Uh, I didn't expect to walk in there and you know no one be able to help. Because when I so when I seen that stuff, I uh, when I seen that stuff online, I I called to make sure that you know online I sign up for the right thing and don't sign up for something that's wrong or whatever. So I was like, hey, I know I want to take, I want to do the free trial, which is you just go in there one day like we did and try it out. Uh, she was like, yeah, okay, so we can do that and we uh with the trial we will assess or whatever because i told her that this was their first time coming or whatever she was like we could assess and see you know what's going on this then and third or what would be the best fit for them cool she was like by the end of it you, you will know that we have different packages and we have different programs and we have different this this that and the third okay cool 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 y'all yeah. cool so um and i'm gonna add that most Karate places have private lessons for all ages as well. Well, all ages either three and up or four and up, but they normally have their own little private lessons or whatever. So I'm like, okay, cool. So when she said something about a package or see what's going to work for you and what's not going to work for you, I didn't think nothing of it. So, okay. We, we talked about that. I get there. No one's there to help. The same person that was on the phone that is who asked me to sign their paperwork and she is the same person that's like come on you know jackson and julian or whatever come take off your shoes and this and third like y'all they're three and four and this is a big gym so they see, hear music they see balls they want to play uh so she was upbeat she came over there and she did like uh it's like, come on, take off your shoes, and this, that, and third. Julian didn't want to take off his shoes at first, so I had to make Julian take off his shoes. Jackson was ready, though. Jackson wanted to take off his shoes, his socks, everything, his jacket. He, like, let her do that, or whatever. And as y'all seen, they was on, like, they little squares. I was supposed to have been on little squares. Jackson kept distracting Julian, but as y'all seen, Julian will follow directions, and Julian will kind of do what they're talking about. Like, you know, he has autism, so he really doesn't understand. Well, not that he don't understand, but he has to see somebody else do it first to demonstrate it. But Julian has a speech delay as well. So it's like they expect, I feel like they just are not good for someone that has a child with any type of disability, like speech or autism or whatever. I just feel like that's, they don't really have patience for that. So the lady went on about her class. And as y'all see, the other lady in the red, she was trying to help, but she kept going like this, like, oh, they just running around, they're not listening, this, this, and third. Well, if you can't get my kids to listen, or be like, hey, this, that, and third, like, I don't know if some people, so I'm not going to just sit here and fault it or whatever, but I don't know if some people don't want to touch kids, some people don't have a strong voice, but everyone knows when kids first go somewhere, they're going to be all over the place, and you have to kind of make them listen, like, this, that, and the third. So, it eventually came out was a dude because they just was running around, running around, running around, running around. So, that's why y'all seen them on the other side of doing like that one-on-one -on -one stuff or whatever. So, and when you see it on the other side or whatever, that was them, you know, kicking, hitting, and stuff like that. The man was like the only one that was like 
there trying to instruct them to do anything and actually trying to work with them at all, it was just him because the first two women wasn't trying to do that at all. Now the girl in the red, she did come, she asked me what their names was because she didn't know who they were. So I'm guessing, and like I don't really fault them for not knowing they name because I'm guessing people will sit here and schedule an appointment and say they're gonna come and come to the free class and try it out and don't really show up. So I understand that far as with that, that part. Uh, so I'm not gonna sit here and say that it's just a terrible place to take a kid. What I will say is, I just wouldn't recommend nobody take their child with any type of disability. And they can't legally say that we don't work with kids with disabilities because you can actually technically sue the crap out of them. But yeah, it just was like, bro, Jackson is three. So he's not going to just pay attention. And like at the end of that, at the end of that whole thing, we supposed to, like I told y'all earlier, we supposed to got like a package and what supposed to go over what whatever instructor felt like would work best for them. So when I hear this, I'm thinking you're going to see whether the classroom works best or private lessons work best or what type of, how do you think we should proceed with this or if this is even something that you would recommend we do. And I will say that the guy was pretty cool. The guy was, he was good. Like uh, the lady, like I said, she tried, but she had a whole nother class. So it just, to me, seemed like stuff is all over the place and kind of unprofessional to me. And it wasn't even a lot of kids now like that. Like it was three kids in there, like actually in that class. And it actually was a lady, if y'all seen in the beginning of the video, when I was talking about some, no one's up here to help you. Like this is how professional it is. A lot of that, that dead space or whatever that was waiting, I clipped out of the video because it would be boring to watch. Just someone standing there or fast forward with music and we just like, that's boring to watch. Uh, so yeah, I took that off. What else was I gonna say? We, he, he or she or whoever's supposed to been telling us, cause she did tell me it would be like 20 to 30 minutes of the assessment or whatever. Uh, we didn't get no call, we didn't get no text, we didn't get a smoke signal. The man just was like, you know, have a good day. He was professional, I will say that he was that. I like the fact that the little girl in the white, like she was there and she, you know, helped him, was trying to help Julian. And she was actually patient and talking and working with him. Like, and this is a whole kid to me that had dang more pro professionalism in the people that worked there. So, yeah, so she was just, you know, she'll do it first, then Julian and then Spokesman Jackson. As y'all seen, Jackson's all over the place. So I think I'm not gonna put Jackson in karate. I don't know nobody to take a three-year-old other than them anyway. So, yeah. Now for Carter or something like that, this probably would be a good program or for Chris or somebody like that. This would be a good program because they're actually going to wanna learn. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this in this video so I don't have to do another video. So I guess this was more, it's more so like Julian and Jackson first uh, karate tryouts and this is a slash like review on the place that we went to. Um, I'm not gonna say that it's bad. I just think that they are not as organized as they could be, but I wouldn't say not go there, you know? Uh, but for me, like, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna take Jackson and Julian there uh, because I don't feel like they were like, trying to be hands-on, they didn't explain anything after the fact they didn't do no follow-up and ask us anything. It just was like, okay, uh, when he got through with that thing, he said, okay, go with your mom, go with your mom, like, you know, whatever. So they came to me, I put on their socks, their shoes, stuff like that. And he was like there to kind of help, but he, he didn't help with nothing. He just was like standing around, but he didn't like have no uh, feedback to tell me, I think that they definitely should do private lessons and I think they should do private lessons separate because they both are sitting here running around and this, then, and the third. Like, they should do private lessons. If they're going to do private lessons, they should do it separate and not together. I think that would have worked. As y'all see, Julian was, like, doing the uh, stuff. Jackson more so, uh, I think I'm going to put him in Tumblr and I was going to say, Carter want to do uh, kickboxing and stuff like that. So I did find another gym. But we will try that out after the holiday, after Christmas, and after stuff like that. Um, it's not really bad per session. It's not bad for a monthly fee. Like, I will actually just put Carter in there because the monthly fee is something that we could afford. But I'm not going to be paying a monthly fee for him to be going twice a week. And he's not actually going twice a week because they don't want to drive from Austin or Cabot to Little Rock. So I'm just not going to do that. Carter will take five lessons with kickboxing whenever he has me. I will bring you guys on the journey with us if y'all want to see it. If not, let me know down in the comments. Um, 
Because I know a lot, of, a lot of people that do subscribe, y'all are subscribed because of the artism stuff. And this is kind of showing my kids how they interact with like regular activities. Kids that do, do have artism, how it uh, works. But anyway, y'all, I will show y'all Julian and Jackson. Well, Julian, next thing, because they only take four and up. And uh, Carter's will be after that. It'll be a quick little video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something about, you know, what parents what parents that have kids with autism expect, we expect y'all, like we expect people or instructors to have a little bit more patience with our kids than a regular kid at four years old that's going to sit here and tell you their name. They're going, they, they don't have a speech delay. They're going to tell you their name. They're going to tell you how old they are. I guess that little clip was too long. But, uh, and Julian and Jackson both have a speech delay, so yeah. Uh, what else is I gonna say? Cause I'm, I need to wrap this up. Cause it's probably be like a 20 minute video. Uh, blah, blah, blah. what was I going to say? What was I gonna say? But yeah, we kind of expect people to have a little bit more patience. I did let these people know up front the next place that we're going to. Uh, I let them know up front that Julian has autism. Uh, I showed them like a little clip of the video of Julian will kind of follow the direction, but I just don't think a class is like correct for him right now. I think that Julian should do private lessons, understand the stuff, get it down, and then I'll look into actually putting him in the classroom with other kids. But I feel like by just watching him with this one, that yeah, Julian might need private lessons because watching him with this one, Julian was kind of doing what the other kids were doing or doing what they were saying doing, but he didn't like get it. Cause so it takes him a little bit longer to learn, but he do, you know, attempt and he will try. So we're gonna do private lessons for a while. And if the person that does the private lessons act like they have patience and wanna be bothered with him and deal with him and stuff like that, then we'll go on to the class. But I'm also gonna see what they recommend because this is something that they do every day. They teach them martial arts every day. So I kinda wanna see what they think about it before I just put him in a class with other kids or should we just continue to do private lessons uh, once or twice a week. So, yeah, y'all, um, other sports. We're looking into gymnastics for both boys. Soccer, I waited too late to put them in. Uh, and also, I'll probably do swim lessons and horseback riding with the boys. But as far as with the swim lessons, they just don't have to do that because I want them to learn how to swim. So that's just going to be something that they do. Uh, the horseback riding, we can also try that and see if they like it before I just commit to like a membership because it's a place that has one that starts and ends by March. And then a school's supposed to have the same little thing that goes on during the summer and spring, I think. So yeah, we're just going to see how it works and then we'll go from there. Um, the horseback riding stuff or whatever, the grooming and stuff like that. It's something that you could try and see if the kids like it before I just commit to it. I know my older kids do like it. So that's something that I can put them in uh, if I, you know, choose to. My older kids like it. Um, what else is what I'm saying? And Julian, I think he actually like animals, but I don't know how Jackson is going to do, y'all. This is a whole, we got, we going to see this out. So tomorrow I'm going to call and see, you know, about scheduling that and the release forms and all that stuff. And get it to going but oh and before i end the video i was going to say um far as when they got to the part where they was kicking and hitting the watch kind of thing i had to kind of go down there and like make them sit down and make them basically listen and stop just running around the gym they just run around the gym run around the gym like it's like they didn't want to touch them and i don't know if they didn't want to touch them because of covid or if they didn't want to touch them because they really didn't know what to do, or if some parents be like, don't touch my kid, and this, this, that, and third, we'll do this, we'll do that. I don't know, but they just, when they got up to take out one, and they just kind of was chasing them around, and like, come back, come back, come back, and it's like, that's not gonna work, because they're, this is their first time doing it. Yeah, I know people are going to, they're going to sit here and try. So I feel like I shouldn't have to sit here and the whole session, be like, hey, stop doing this, stop this, and stop that, and do that, and like pop their hands and stuff like this, because it's like, what do y'all do in these situations? Because if they don't, if, if I'm not gonna be sitting here the whole time in their watching college, like I'm gonna sit here and be watching, but if I want my kids to be able to 
participate with the rest of the class, I'm not going to be able to sit here and go out and be like, stop doing this, stop doing that, and quit, and this, that, and the third. So, like, how do y'all handle these situations? Or do y'all, y'all, like, if the kids don't listen, y'all just don't work? Like, that was, that was another part that I just did not like having to come there and this, that's how y'all handle the situation. Y'all just come back, come back. So if somebody opens the door and my kid shoots at the door, y'all gonna be saying, come back, come back, come back. Like, come back, Julian, come back, Jackson. They're not, they don't listen to that. So yeah, that was the only other thing I didn't like is having to be there with them and to show like, y'all, when you put your kids in sports, like the coaches and stuff like that, supposed to know how to control their room and to control the kids, or to be like, no. So I don't, I don't get it why they didn't just get them and no, you got to sit down and stop. Like I didn't have no issue with them talking to them, like firm, like stop doing that, Julian. Like the man, he came out, and he was like, no, 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 stop. Versus the other woman, she had on my mask and she just was like, come back. And, yeah, you know, that don't work with, like, toddlers, but, yeah. But I had wanted to say that so that you guys could understand why I just kind of was, like, irritated with that whole little thing. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys on the next video. It more than likely won't be this talkative. Um, the video after this probably will be a clean with me, and I probably will have on the same thing just because I had to finish this video out. Anyway, you guys, appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share the video out on all your social medias. My social medias are linked down in the description. Facebook and Instagram is down in the description. Uh, you can join my membership. That's down in the description and right there by the subscribe button. Appreciate you guys for watching. See you guys on the next video. Be blessed. Take care of yourself. Be safe out there. Peace.